Hi again, Chris Lawson here. Today, let me share with you my commitment to a code of conduct for the Kane County Board Chairman race and for serving if we're successful. It's been my experience over the last 20 years in public service that my neighbors and constituents want honest competence in government. They know that mistakes are made sometimes and they forgive us for those mistakes, but they insist on don't lie to me and don't steal. Pretty straightforward standards. Here are my preliminary thoughts on six components of a practical code of conduct. Number one, I promise to continue to work hard, stay honest, and use common sense. Number two, if elected, my, priori my priorities will be freeze the Kane County property tax levy, treat people with respect, honest, competent administration of county business through innovation and austerity. Number three, I commit to decline all pension and hospitalization benefits attached to county board service and to restrict myself as long as I serve at the county level to not withdraw even one cent from any other pension plan more than what I already contributed and have earned on those contributions to that plan. Next, when I make mistakes, not if I make a mistake, in the service to the county, I'll admit the mistake, placing it on top of the table, I'll discuss the lessons learned, list corrective actions to be taken, then we'll allocate sufficient and appropriate resources to avoid repetition of that problem in the future. Number five, my intention is to spend no time discussing my opponent's personal life, and my exclusive concentration will be on presenting my qualifications and plans to serve properly. I will defend myself against inaccurate attacks, and I'll encourage voters to compare my qualifications and positions to those of my opponent as proper decision making among alternatives. Number six, all candidates should remember that a primary election is only a first step in the process to winning a general election. All primary candidates must conduct themselves in a way that causes those who do not win the primary to feel comfortable supporting the candidate who does. Although documented contrasting position comparisons are fair game in any political campaign, I hope that voters will evaluate each candidate upon his or her academic training and record, their professional achievements, and their political and true management experience, rather than tolerating the destructive mudslinging that has become unfortunately commonplace. Thank you very much.